Again, thanks, Simon, for that very um, broad-ranging uh, contribution. And, and I know looking around the room, you've opened up any number of uh, conversation points there. So I'm going to close them back down quite quickly uh, before we get into a, a wide-ranging debate about a number of issues. I mean, one, for example, we know from a meeting yesterday that we're at least two years out before the government will ratify the, uh, the UN Convention on, on the Rights of Persons with a Disability. So that's a long, long way out uh, as far as people with a disability are concerned and, and quite disappointing. But that's just one of the, 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 the examples of why we want uh, movement quicker. So uh, thank you for that. I'm now going to hand over to uh, my friend Donald Toulon, who's going to chair the uh, morning session. Donald. Um, good morning. Um, <coughs> And, and thank you, Paddy, for the invitation to to uh, chair uh, this session. And uh, thanks to the minister for his opening comments. Uh, I've learned two useful uh, things from both Paddy and the minister's contributions: is that the election the election has now been called in some shape or fashion. Um, so, Marshall your thoughts, ideas, um, um, and, 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 and stay tuned in, as they used to say in the, in the 60s. Um, and uh, also, I think more importantly and more seriously, that the minister has set out uh, what I think is a very optimistic uh, note in terms of uh, engagement that, 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 that should be taken up upon um, uh, because uh, Certainly, uh, my observation around our, our, the period of, 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 of uh, stasis, I would call, that we've been in for the past number of years, has made it very difficult for, for, for ideas to progress. So perhaps that, 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 that this is a really opportune moment for inclusion to hold this conference and that the ideas can start flowing again and be acted upon. Now, uh, we have a number of speakers this morning up until lunchtime, and it's going to be broken with the coffee break. So in order to allow you the most opportunity uh, to uh, engage with the ideas that, that, that you're going to hear, um, I'm going to try and move things on as quickly as, as possible. And um, with that in mind, I, I, I don't think there's any uh, important notices uh, in terms of housekeeping to make. Um, if you have any difficulties in terms of hearing or need assistance, there are people here to my left, to your right, and um, make sure that, 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 that you, 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 you uh, uh, take, uh, avail of their support. Okay, so with further, without further ado, I'm going to um, introduce our first speaker, and that's Dr. John Cullinan. And I think, as you heard Paddy say, he's been involved uh, in, in, in uh, uh, an important area of, of research and is, is, is bringing out a book shortly. Uh, but in short, uh, he is a lecturer in economics at NUI Galway and co-editor of, as I say, The Economics of Disability Insights from Irish Research. John. 